What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex, and you're watching a Marvel edition of the Rage Nation show. This is just a web series where we're talking about all things matter me in the world of Marvel films. This is episode number 76, and we got a lot to talk about as usual. But before I begin, let's just talk a little bit more about the X Men Days of Future Past Rogue Cut release on DVD and Blu ray. And if you don't know what it is, I've already talked about it in a couple of episodes, but I'll just recap what it is. And what it is is that. Um, a lot or almost all of Rogue's scenes in X-Men Days of Future Past were cut out because it was an entire subplot that really didn't add anything to the movie and therefore Brian Singer decided to cut out 17 minutes of, of the film which were essentially all of Rogue's scenes and that would be the theatrical cut of the film. And he was quite sad about it so he decided that hey I want to release all of Rogue scenes into a new release of the DVD and Blu-ray and call it the Rogue Cut which is coming out on July 14th uh, of this year and apparently the studios are a little bit concerned that some people aren't really that interested and you know rightfully so because they're making us double dip and nobody's a fan of double dipping we just want to buy one definitive release and that's it so some of you guys like myself uh, would be interested because you're fans and then there are other fans um, who really don't care for another version of the movie. It really doesn't um, add a whole lot if uh, that's what they believe. Well, 20th Century Fox decided um, they want to uh, entice you a little bit more by adding in a sneak peek to Fantastic Four, if that makes it even um, a little better, or it adds some more value to the to the purchase of uh, the road cut of X Men: Days of Future Past. So I just want to let you guys know that uh, this is what will be available, and if you want to show some support, um, here's another reason why you should, if you want to uh, get the road cut of the film. So uh, there you have it. Um, the X Men: Days of Future Past road cut will feature a sneak peek to. Fantastic for the reboot, which is coming out later on in August of this year. Now, moving on, let's talk about what's going on in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And, of course, Captain America Civil War is filming right now in Atlanta, Georgia. What they're filming at Atlanta, Georgia is supposed to represent an African market. Uh, you've seen the photos of Captain America and Falcon and Crossbones. They're going at it. And, well, it's going to get a more exciting because, apparently, Scarlet Witch showed up. Of course, played by Elizabeth Olsen. Paul Rudd is there, who who plays Scott Lang, a.k.a. Ant-Man. Uh, Hawkeye, played by Jeremy Renner, is getting ready to get suited up for action. And also, uh, Tony Stark, of course, played by Robert Downey Jr., made an appearance on set uh, to check out how the filming is going on, which also essentially means that um, they're, he's getting ready to be a part of that action. All right? So, um, I posted a lot of photos a complete photo album of all the filming, um, of all the behind the scenes photos at the Rage Nation Facebook page. Make sure you go over there and hit the like button and check out the album because there's a lot and a lot of photos which captures the um, uh, all the events that happened over the course of the week while they're filming in Atlanta, Georgia. So that's very, very exciting. Check out that album and you can comment on every individual photo. All right, moving on, let's talk about um, Guardians of the Galaxy, specifically Chris Pratt and his contract with Marvel, or rather Disney Studios, and apparently um, he's uh, he uh, elaborated on his uh, on his contract with Marvel. And you know what? I'm gonna just read you the quote from Chris Pratt himself, and he says that I'm tied to doing three more or five more Guardians of the Galaxies or whatever it is. You know, two more Guardians plus another couple. All right. So he already did Guardians of the Galaxy last year. So apparently he's uh, he's signed on for three or five more, okay? Maximum five. He doesn't even really know the exact number, but it is at least three. The minimum is three. So we got Guardians of the Galaxy 2, and then um, the, the possibility for her, him to show up again is probably Infinity Wars 1 and 2, you know, from the Avengers. So there's her three right there, and if... Um, if Fans want to see more Guardians, and the studios decide that they want to um, decide that they uh, they want to make another Guardians sequel. Then there's Guardians of the Galaxy three and four. So this is a high probability that we're going to see the Guardians of the Galaxy in the battle of 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 against Thanos in Guardians of or in Avengers Infinity War parts one and two. All right. Now a lot of 
uh, people are, are, are a lot of fans are saying that, or rather hoping that Guardians of the Galaxy will and the Avengers will meet in Infinity War. That's like a like a, a hope and a dream, right? But it's really up to the studios if they want to make that happen. It could be entirely two different. Um, parallel stories going on at the same time but you still got to remember they have a condom and foe so the likelihood of that happening is theoretically theoretically quite high but it's really up to the studios okay it might not happen but what he states in his contract points the fingers towards guardians of the galaxy showing up in, in uh, avengers infinity war parts one and two so very very exciting okay the last thing i got to talk about is matthew mcconaughey and well matthew mcconaughey made quite an impression uh in interstellar a uh, film that i really really enjoyed i watched it twice but uh, it really doesn't have a whole lot of to do with uh of marvel but what it has a lot to do with is the fact that something we didn't know about and that is apparently matthew mcconaughey has been approached by both marvel and dc uh to uh, to uh, um to pursue him uh, for for a um, a character role in their comic book films, okay. There's no word on who it is, but he's been approached by both Marvel and DC because they both studios want them to, uh, or rather Warner Brothers Studios, both studios want him to uh, play a role in uh, either the Marvel Cinematic Universe or the DC Cinematic Universe, uh, which Warner Brothers has created. Uh, now um, he's been uh, handed scripts. And uh, he's been uh, uh, he's been uh, approached by uh, the representatives of both studios, and he hasn't said anything yet. He hasn't confirmed if he's going to be playing a role in either universes. But there is a rumor, and this rumor is going around saying that Matthew McConaughey is being courted for the role of Norman Osborn in the Spider-Man reboot. Now, this is good and bad news. It's good news because we're where uh, uh, we're get, we're seeing Matthew McConaughey as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He's a great actor. Okay. The bad news is that we're seeing Norman Osborn again. Okay. We've already seen him a lot in the uh, in the original Spider-Man trilogy from uh, Sam Raimi. We saw him again, played by Chris Cooper in um, the Amazing Spider-Man Two, and but he was dying. Okay. He was dying in the, he was on his deathbed. Okay. And now we're possibly going to see him again. Maybe, and it's because of this rumor, it's just a rumor, in the Spider-Man reboot, which is coming out in 2017, which is calling the Spider- uh, Spider-Man the new Avenger. Okay. Now this is just a rumor, it might completely be false, but based on what this rumor suggests, Matthew McConaughey could be playing Norman Osborn. Okay. Now a lot of people are whining, a lot of fans are just moaning about this, talking about like, again, right? But Norman Osborn plays a huge part in the whole Spider-Man story, all right. So it does make sense why they would want to, you know, get the the Norman Osborn character back, all right. Uh, however, Matthew McConaughey playing Norman Osborn is a little bit of a strange choice, okay. Um, Matthew McConaughey playing Norman Osborn, in my opinion, is a little bit just sounds too much like a ridiculous rumor. Okay, that's what it sounds like. Because what are we going to get? We're going to get, like, uh, Norman Osborn played by Matthew McConaughey. And then he goes, what? Like, all right, all right, all right. Spider-Man, you know, uh, we're going to have to kill you. And, uh, all right. <laughs> I can't do a Matthew McConaughey impression. But, uh, but you know, are we going to get that? <laughs> we're going to get, like, a, 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 a you know, a, a kind of a, a southern... <laughs> Norman Osborn? <laughs> I don't know, but that's the rumor right now. What do you guys think about that? Matthew McConaughey as Norman Osborn in Spider-Man, the new Avenger film. All right, um, that's kind of crazy. But anyways, uh, that's all I got to say in this video. Um, once again, go over to the Rage Nation Facebook page, hit the like button, and check out the photos uh, for the uh, for the production of uh, Captain America Civil War. There's a lot of great photos in there. And there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to your YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, the Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Where's when he goes up against Superman? All right. And well, you know what? There's got to be a main villain. And eventually Batman and Superman got to put aside their differences.